or 65 days of clay cups. Today you're going to get to see cup number 156 and 157. And um, I'm making a lot of these beginning endings at one time, so I was a little confused for a second there. But um, I think you're going to enjoy today's cup. Uh, cups. <laughs> Definitely something you put in one of those um, blooper videos. I don't know. Anyway, ready to share the cups with you today. Hope you guys enjoy. I know I shouldn't have done that. Every time I do that, I dig in too far. It's okay. Wow, that is so off. I knew it would be because I can't find a center. It happens. Two steps forward, one step back, right?
Okay, that's it for cup number 156 and 157. And I really like how this guy turned out. I love the handle. It came out real smooth. I'm learning how to attach them better because um, I was noticing a lot of them, my, my handles break apart right here or they, they come away from the, the cup just a little bit. They're still attached but you still can see the line and I wanted it smooth and when I watched Janice's video uh, on, on how to make handles I noticed how she was attaching hers and how she would um, make them look smooth. So anyway, I like this cup. It turned out really cute even though the bottom when I was trimming it wasn't balanced. It is now. It looks like it is anyway. No one would know the difference. But 155, uh, 156 Cup number 157 is a, it's just a plain cup. Uh, yeah, I have some glazing ideas I want to try, so I need some plain cups, but um, yeah, I think it'll be nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's clip. Uh, I'm doing, I've been doing a lot in my shop lately, trying to get caught up and clean up and um, I'm storing things away. So um, yeah, I'm going to be getting to glazing and hopefully we'll be doing a glaze firing this weekend. Keep your fingers crossed. So hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.